Hi, I'm Bruce Coulomb, and welcome to another video for BFCoulomb.com. Today I want to go ahead and demonstrate how my drive circuit switch is wired to all of these Back to the Future replicas that I make, and the drive switch controls the power to every one of these individually. First, if you notice, my drive circuit switch is off. Red lens is on, everything is dead. Now, please pay particular attention to the plutonium indicators. When I power up the drive circuit, the plutonium indicators are wired so that they hesitate for one second before the lights illuminate and the power up audio sound effect comes on. So let me go ahead and demonstrate. First, we turn the drive circuit switch on. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Okay, we have the green LED or green lens lit on the drive circuit, and of course everything's powered up. Now I have it so that every one of these toggle switches controls each one of these items individually. First switch turns off the flux capacitor, of course, turn it back on. Next switch is for my electrical systems regulator or ESR. I have the third switch wired into the plutonium indicator so that it powers them up, powers them down. Back on. Second after power activation. Third switch is to the 88 speedometer. This is a static version and either you have it in the 88 position mode or you have it in the zero position mode depending on the switch. The next switch I have wired into my high distribution module effects box. Now this box has four individual channels of pre-recorded sound effects. You choose which ones you want on there when you order the box from me and we can put on either the doors opening, doors closing, or Doc's famous words of uh, when this baby hits 88. Almost anything from the movie. If you have the uh, sound wave I can go ahead and put it on there or you can use one of my own. Okay, so let me flip the switch. Let's try that again. Okay. Next switch is wired into the plutonium indicator's empty light. When I flip this switch on, the empty light will flash and start to beep. And off. Pretty cool. The next flip cover switch is a main cutoff. What it does is when I put that switch up, it completely removes power from everything, including the drive switch. Okay, switch up, everything's dead, no power whatsoever. Flip it back down, powered restored to everything. Okay, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and let everybody see how when you purchase my drive circuit switch, it comes completely and fully wired, ready to go, so that all you have to do is take your Back to the Future replicas, wire them into the back of my switch, and it will control everything. Also remember that when I sell my props, they come with a complete, easy to understand schematic and diagram, so that you can do the same thing for your DeLorean conversion. Alright guys, that's it. I appreciate you looking in, and remember, if you want to purchase any of these props, or if you want all of them, just go to my website, www.bfcoulomb.com. You can get these props and others. Also, don't forget to ask for Doc's Garage Sale Special, and I'll cut you really a great discount price if you purchase all of my interior items at once. All right, see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks for looking in.